as I share my thoughts today concerning abortion. First of all, in an article by Todd Beeman, published by a website called Newsmax, National Right to Life Committee estimates that 55 million precious lives have been lost to a, a legalized medical procedure that we know as abortion. We all know someone whose life has been affected by abortion, but do we really understand the impact that abortion has on the life of an individual, on our culture as a whole, or with our relationship with God? Serving as a pastor over the last few years, I've had an opportunity to understand how abortion affects the life of a lady on an ongoing fashion. I've had an opportunity to listen to women years after the fact to talk about how abortion is not just a short-term ordeal, but that it is something that affects the way they feel for a lifetime. With abortion, nobody wins. The life of a baby is lost, a mother is affected for a lifetime. Our culture as a whole bears the burden, and our relationship with God is altered. For the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a valid explanation of how abortion will impact the life of the mother continually, how it places unnecessary burdens on our culture, and how it can drive a wedge in the life of our relationship with God. First, let's look at the mother. Abortion can impact a woman's life continually after taking the life of her baby. In a booklet published by Family Research Council, Georgette Fournay, co-founder of Silent No More Awareness Campaign, says that when men and women with the program come to share their testimonies, they talk about how abortion has changed them. Their stories help policymakers and counselors and, and the general public to understand that there are long-term emotional consequences. Each story helps show that abortion is not a neutral experience for the woman. In another article published by the Family Research Council, How Abortion Harmed Women's Health by Maura Gall, a pro-choice research team in New Zealand analyzed data from a 25-year period of time using factors both pre- and post-abortion. And they found conclusively that abortion in young women is associated with the increased risk of major depression, anxiety disorder, suicidal behaviors, and substance dependency. This is the most comprehensive long-term study ever conducted on the issue. And this leads me to my second point. Abortions place unnecessary burdens on our culture. The Heritage Foundation released information by Sarah Tora that in 2011, Planned Parenthood received over 542 million total taxpayer dollars while performing about 334,000 abortions. But it's not just the financial burden that affects Americans. It's other things that affect us. What about the lives of the, those that are affected by abortion? The mother who becomes depressed or drug addicted. What about the family who, who their members, their, their, the family members and friends who sees the life of a loved one just fall into complete ruin? What about the women who out of shame never are able to forgive themselves because they come to the realization of exactly what they've done? This leads me to my final point. The effects of abortion can drive a wedge in our relationship with God when we choose to define the standard in what God values according to His Scripture. God values human life. And that includes pre-born human life. God inspires the words of the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 44 and 24 when he says, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who forms you from the womb. When we take away the life of an unborn baby, something that God values so much, our own consciousness will hold us through the conviction of the Holy Spirit. It's no wonder that those who commit such acts find themselves in a sea of regret. Now to my conclusion. As we've seen, abortion can strongly impact the life of the mother. Not just immediately, but also ongoing. 
We've observed how it places unnecessary burdens on our culture, but most importantly, we've seen how it drives a wedge in our relationship with God. With abortion, nobody wins. A baby's life is lost. A, the mother's affected for a lifetime, and our culture bears the burden, and our relationship with God is altered. But you can fight to change that by standing for something that God values. You need to support the life of the unborn by supporting a pro-life agenda. I implore you today to search for yourselves the horrible results of abortion, to find ways to make your voice known, and to let those around you know that you stand for something that God perhaps values most, human life. Thank you.